Morning folks, 7.40am Ah, uh, day is it? Thursday, ah it's Thursday Ah, uh, Thursday the 9th of uh, November uh, We obviously saw the footage last night We, we, we stayed in the bothy, we never pitched our tents uh, It got very windy during the night, we could hear it uh, so the other two lads have got I've got lightweight tents. You know, I've got my Janu, I would I would have been okay. But uh, uh Pete's got a tent that's under a kilogram a, a Nordis telemark. And uh, as I said before uh Sinclair's got his hubba hubba. So they would have been interesting to see how the tents got on. But I would have been okay in mine. Uh, anyway, it's a, I say it's a beautiful morning, it is, because well, there's no sunny, it's windy, it's just, it's just wild, you know, it's just, it's the wind and the isolation and the wildness of the place, it's, it's just, it's just great, I just love it. Scott's Wild Camper the Wild Camping Channel for the Great Outdoors. Right folks, Tuesday the 7th of November, 6.50pm. Can you guess where I'm walking? Can you guess? I doubt it very much. But we'll just walk up here and there you go. You don't know if you see it yet. This is a very wide angle lens. Uh, we'll try and zoom in. It only zooms in. I actually zoomed in. I need to go right up. Danger of death. Fatal accidents do occur by falling from this path. And there's the path. We're not going up to it uh, tonight. Right, have you guessed? Some of you would have guessed. In fact, some of you will know that I, I told where I'm going. There it is. There you go, folks. Try and get my sh shadow. You see it? Steel gorge and waterfall. Very quite nervous. You have it coming. The danger and of death. Right, so get it there. He's like, there he is. You just see him. Aye, aye, there he is. There he is. Just see him. What's that? <laughs> Here the you are. You've got a wee hairy bobby as well? Yeah. We've both got hairy bobbies. Danger well, of death. We're waiting for Pete, my dog, Bushcraft, is going to be hearing about, what, five hours, six hours time? Aye, uh, whenever he gets here, it's fairly some drive. Yeah, he's a long drive. A long, long drive. Yeah, that's better. That angle. There you go. Uh, well, this is what you're doing lately. And that's uh, what you see there, the van. That's the uh, that's the home for the night. There's no really anywhere to pitch my tent, so I'm afraid we're having to share the van with Sinclair. So that's the. Uh, so no, no wild camping tonight, just out of my bag. I'll, I'll sleep it. I'll sleep my head at that end, the sink where I'll sleep his head at that end. That's it. And here's me. So it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. There you go folks, you've been joined by Pete. I arrived about 2 a.m. in the morning. Two. Yeah. Two in the morning, so That's us. Six hour. We're going a right. wee explore, a wee wander. A wee wander. Yeah, that's it.
Right folks, Wednesday. The well, Sunday was Guy Fox, so that's Monday the 6th, Tuesday the 6th. Wednesday the 8th of November. This probably is Wild Camp 96. I'm saying probably because there's a bothy we might uh, get to, so I don't know. Look at that folks, fantastic. I didn't realise that Pete hasn't been up here before. For some reason I thought he'd been here, but anyway, he's in for a treat. Look at that waterfall up there. Yeah, the water's running for now. Right folks, we're on our way. We're having a fantastic, fantastic views here. There you go folks, look at the size of their rocks. Pete always takes a rock, a wee rock I've noticed in her trips. Uh, I don't think we'll be taking any of their rocks home with them, eh? Tons, tons and tons of rocks. Both in number and in weight. There's a big rock. Hope I didn't land on anybody. Here we are, my favourite bit of the gorge. Well, this is my second time up. It's this bit, a big mass of rocks. Look at that. Look at that lot. Up. Fantastic. We're taking our time, folks, and enjoying it. We're no racing up. There you go, folks. That was much easier than I thought with the packs on, I think, because we just took our time. Sugar. Flipped there. There you go, look at that. Check that out. The river and the falls, beautiful. And the glen. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Pete coming in, taking some footage. Absolutely fantastic. That's the top of the gorge. As I say, that was surprisingly easy, but I think because we were stopping for take footage and have a look, and that's the way you should do it. There's no point rushing up and tearing yourself foot. You know, right at the start, especially what we're doing, it's different if you're, you've not got any backpacks and you're no planning to stay out here for three or four days. Uh, 
then you know fair enough you can go a wee bit faster but we did it the right way for your situation you know when you're backpacking There you go. A last look back before we lose that view. There's a rope bridge over there. You can make it out in this uh, ultra wide lens. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. But anyway, we camped here, and what a view! Looking out to the start of the start of the glen. Well, the you know what I would call the start of the real hike into the into and through the glen. There we go. Yeah. Heading into no man's land now, mate. There it is. No man's land. For about 13 miles. The original idea was to hike to Karur, but uh, Pete's worried about getting trains back for his work, so he obviously has to get back. He has to get back to his work, so we'll have a wee wander. We wander out and then a, a hike back. And here's me. Prove I'm here. <laughs> ah, it's great. This is my favourite type of trip. I like the, the sort of camping ones with the two marks and Stuart. I like them as well. I like a mixture. It's good to have a, a more relaxed trip. And it's also good to get the you know get the legs stretched. And get a wee bit of wild stuff, you know. Make you feel alive, do you know what I mean? Bit of adrenaline. Great. I like videoing my bridges, eh? From there, there's the path. We have a path a good bit. And then it, it either disappears or me and Sinclair lost it. I remember for the last hike. But up there. Up there we swoop up and down and it's sweep up and down for a while. Good stuff. There's a the waterfall. The other waterfall up here, that's the one I think me and Mark, uh, me and Mark McFarland walked to Mark the Great, oh sorry, Mark McFarland out in the wild. We walked up there the last time. Stuart stayed doing a bit, but I think, to be honest, I think Stuart's, he lost a lot of weight, I think he's fit enough, he's fitter, so I think this time we would get up there no problem, no doubt about it. There's another two. Well, I'm going to say what, I don't think they're right because I think they're just, they're not gonna, to be honest, they're not really got the right gear on, but it'll be okay. The weather doesn't get much worse. There's ruins there. I'm sure I read about them. A few years ago, but to be honest, I can't remember what I read about them. But there they are. Some settlement. Some wee settlement, I think. A harsh living up here. <laughs> A very harsh living. Right, through the mud. Ah, back in the path. Might have been a shepherd building or something. A few people living here, eh? That's the rain on. Oh, 
what goes up must go down. Headed up a wee bit, so we've got the joy of heading down the way. It's a waterfall in the distance, I think. I don't remember that. It's been a while, maybe three years. Three years since we've been St. Clair done this. I think it's been three years, yeah. Oh, oh that would be good for you. We've been heading up, we've been using this path It goes up high as you can see But there's another path And I think the last time I was here with Sinclair We, we did that, we went up the highway but we ended up cutting down Anyway so Rather than do a bit of climbing for no reason We'll head down the now There's the river So We'll follow the river, I think that's if you're heading to the Bothy, I think that's the best, you know, the best way to go. Ah, look at that. It's worth hiking through the bog to get what you're seeing, to be honest. If you like this sort of thing, this is a good hike. It's a good hike to do. possible camping spot, I think. An emergency certainly that would be, you know, an emergency that would be, well, that would do, no, no, no doubt about it. You make do with that. There we go, the lads are having something to eat. Taking another five minutes. Fantastic. Break over. Yeah, get a few miles done, that's the plan, head to the Bothy, we don't get there, it doesn't make any difference. There's a path up there, we're heading up to that one. So we might have been better to stick in the high path that I showed you, I don't know, ah, it's all good exercise. You look at it the map, it looks like a, a level walk. I mean, there's no hills, but it is, you know, you're going up and down, up and down, through the bog, through the path. Just thought I'd show you the conditions, the walking conditions. This is pretty much what it's like so far. And there you go. As I said, a mixture of bog and path, you know, and sometimes together, a bit of bog and a bit of path. Heading towards that ridge, hopefully, that's the last of the uphill bits and we'll head down towards the river. I'm sure it's that bit. Happy yeah. We done McDuff. Take your time. Yeah. We'll get there. Yeah. And there we are. We're down by the river. Uh, you missed a good one, Stuart, and the two marks. I don't know how he's got on with this. I think he'd be okay, but you know, you're walking through bog and carrying a big pack. This is a, it's a good hike. It's a decent, decent test. It's not a killer, but it's a decent test. Depends how much weight you've got. I've got 60, probably 60 pound of gear. I remember this bit. This plane. I knew we had to stay on the... You want the, the river on your right hand side when you're walking in from Steel Falls to Karua. You always want the river on your right. There you go folks. There's the conditions. Trying to avoid the, deep, the deepest bit of the bog but that's it. It's a boggy hike folks, you don't like the bog, 
it's probably not a height for you. Through a wee marshy bit here. We change for the bog, a wee marsh. We're going to get another one hour's hiking. If we can see the bothy, then we'll go for it. If we can't, then we're just going to find, going to find a pick spot. There's quite a few river crossings. To be honest, nothing dramatic. To be honest, but a few like this, a bit weird. But I think we've done about four or five. I think this is probably the the widest so far. So nothing dramatic, but it's just to let you know. Three minutes ago, four minutes ago, we passed the spot where me and Sinclair camped. I meant to show you, but I forgot. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it looks like we're definitely going to make the effort to get to the Bothy. Looks like that's the target, you know. Destination Bothy. Sure, we're not too far away from the Bothy. Walking along here. If you're looking for uh, Pete and Sinclair in the distance, they're not there. They're, uh, I don't think you'll see them. I can just about see Sinclair. They're away in the distance. They had another wee break, and I'm a plodder. So, you know, that's why I'm always, I'm always behind, as well as the fact I take a lot of vlogs, but I'm slow plodder. I can just see Pete's red jacket. You, I doubt you'll see it. So, as I say, I'll just plod on, you know, that's my, that's my speed. Plod on, get there, go your own speed's important. Don't try and keep up with people that are quicker, naturally quicker, you're just... You're just going to tire yourself out. Right folks, I hope the next time I've got the camera out uh, we can see the bothy. I think it's just up over... I can see a few trees there in the distance. I think I remember when I was in the bothy last time looking out and I could see the trees obviously from the other side. So let's hope. Let's hope the bothy's there. Because I think it's getting to that time. It's about five hours we've been hiking. Get to that time for a uh, get the backpacks off and get something to eat. Normal service has been resumed. I'm in the back. <laughs> There's a lot of these wee bits as well where the ground sort of sinks into the river or the bog. That's not a bad one, but a lot of them are very boggy. Where are those trees? If you can see those trees, where Pete is. Just to uh, the right hand side of Pete, he's walking right through them now. You can see the trees, the bothy's doing a wee bit for that. We've made it. What can we see around here? There it is. Ah, uh, if you can, I don't think you'll spot it with this camera, but as I was, as I was saying, me and Billy and Wally went, it went to a bothy, it was torrential rain, absolute pouring of rain, miserable night. We said, there'll be nobody in the bothy in this weather. I think there was like nine people or something, three forestry workers and another group, of, I can't remember, it was, I don't think it was nine, but four or five other people. So obviously that was the, the beds were taken, the benches were taken. So I had to sleep under the table. Literally slept under a table. 20 past three. I think we started at 10 o'clock. Obviously we had a wee stop at the falls and several stops. And we're taking our time. There's the bothy. There's the other buildings. <coughs> yeah. Another two up there. I think like the rain is getting a bit heavier, so I think we got to the Bothy just in time. There it is. 
end. Where's your final destination? Uh, oh, well, yeah, we're coming up to yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good luck to you because the wind's going to be in your face all the way down there. Oh. <laughs> Right folks, quarter to six, there you go, that's all the wet stuff, that's Big Pete, that's Sinclair, and I'll show you the sweetener arrangements, there you go, that's Pete's in the middle, Sinclair's on the left, and I'm on the right, <laughs> that's it. I, I'm separate from Sinclair last night, I was sleeping in the van with him last night, so if we thought that was it, that's enough. <laughs> Thanks for writing it. <laughs> this is company's on me tonight. That's enough. <laughs> what are you trying to say to me? Right. <laughs> this is well, the only thing about the, the, the dark nights. So the what does all The dark nights, it's so long, it's been dark since dark about nights, five yeah. o'clock or before that. So it's a long time. No, a long time nice. ago, but that's uh, that's part of the deal. Uh, I guess like the yeah. seven, eight o'clock. Aye. <laughs> so the plan is to walk to Career Station tomorrow. Try and get on the train Some without paying a. Left. Try and go on the train without paying a fare. Because we need money. Well, I've got fifteen quid, so I think that might get. I'll get my ticket. I don't know about Pete and Sinclair. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure we'll I'll drive. Yeah. We'll we'll <laughs> no, we'll got, I've got my the, card. The, the I've got my card. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get back and then we'll get the ta a taxi from Fort William up to Steel Falls and then we're going somewhere else the next day or two. I'm not sure it's one day or two days, but we're going somewhere else. Mm -hmm. We're not camp somewhere.
825. Pete's uh, making sausages, bangers, and wraps. Sausages. Plan is to head to Korea, as I said last week. We discussed uh, walking back, but uh, it's be a better option, I think, as to walk to Korea. That's what Pete came for. He walked through the Glen, and it's a good, it's a nice walk. Well, it's a bit, it's a wee bit wild, but we have the wind in our backs instead of our faces. So that's the plan. And what happens in the next couple of nights, we're not sure. We just head to the station and hopefully we'll get a train at half six. Every time I've been up here, there's been a train at half six. So that's <laughs> it's the, the morning. Uh, uh, half six, half six, six thirty p.m. about that time. So. Just thing is, we actually short of money. Uh, Pete and Sinclair have no money. No and I've, money. I've got 15 quid. That one, I don't think that'll get us three tickets, but I've got my card, so we can. Sinclair can prove his insanity. Uh, <laughs> it is. It is. The bank is ready to do it. Yeah. We'll get there. What's the worst thing that can happen? You can throw us off the train. And it's just as long as we can hide the. So we get to the stop before Fort William, then he throws off at Fort William, we'll be okay. I'll pretend I'm a month. <laughs> right, and plenty of tea. I think we've had only a second cups of tea, no doubt we'll have a, at least another one. Oh, no doubt. Right folks, following the river again. Always follow the river. You go on this walk. Keep it to your right hand side if you're walking from Ah, uh, Steel Falls, as I've said already, I think it's worth saying again. Beautiful. Keep saying it, I will keep saying it. Sun's making an appearance. And that's where we're heading. That was another very boggy marshy bit. I think it gets slightly better. Hopefully in a bit, maybe half a mile, a mile, it gets slightly better. past the 11. So we've been hiking for an hour and a half with a, a few stops and quite a few times stopping for photographs and video. There's ruins up there, an old building. And there's that one. It doesn't look like a body, does it? Definitely not. It must be the white. White building we're coming to soon. That must be the other body. We've got a wee bit of height here. Up a wee bit of height. Get in the wind. Ah, we run. Let's go, we run. That's enough. <laughs> I'll take you with me for a few seconds. Look at that. It's opening up now. Fantastic. There's a competition. How many times have I said fantastic on this video? Answers on a postcard. Fantastic. <laughs> Say that again, couldn't help it. Yeah? Target for today. Target for today, career. Tree no, guy. guy. Yeah, I remember it wasn't that far. Uh, it wasn't as far as I'm sure it wasn't as far as you thought, mate. Because the boss was over there then. Yeah. Yeah, it's over there.
more waterfalls and rapids. And there it is. There's a lodge. Right in amongst the, the trees there. That's where the lodge is. I've been there about, I don't know, this is five times. I think this is five times I've been here. Fantastic area. And there's a bridge from the other side that I usually see it at. If you're a, if you've been up Lock Creek, then you'll be used to that the sight of the bridge. <laughs> I have done it up. Well, the last time I was here, I can't remember if it was two, the second last time, or the last time I was here, but the bridge has been spruced up. I don't think I had the, the barriers, I had barriers on one side, I think. I can't remember, but it's certainly been, they've, uh, you know, they've uh, improved the bridge, that's for sure. Right folks, we're heading to Karua Station. Oh yeah, the uh, wind's getting up a bit. <laughs> I think it's just this bit we're at. I'm just getting blasted with the wind. And there's the bridge from the other side. Here he comes walking down the street. Sinclair, Pathfinder. His Eddie hat. His Eddie hat on. Yeah. It's getting that way, there's a chill in there. Yeah, right? we're getting blasted with it. Loch, Loch, Krieg. Or Trig. It means a uh, lock of death. Big dam at the other end. Uh, I think the dam was to pump water to the... Was it the aluminium works? The steel works? I think it was the aluminium works. I think the pipes are 14 miles. Something like that anyway. 14 miles of pipes. Guy got a. I think it's two tents there, like you probably only see one, and then the, he's obviously erected wood and a bit of tarp or whatever to protect it through the wind and the rain or whatever. So I don't know how long he's been there, or that's somebody just built that and then people are using it, I don't know. Anyway, happy days, eh? Happy days. I think somebody's out fishing in a the boat there, if you can see it. Or is it just floating? Maybe it's just a, it's an empty boat. And there you go. Heading up, tiny bit, and then back down, and then up again, we've got a, another wee climb to do. Very small climb. Bit steep, but very short. Dams up ahead. I'm not sure how long this loch is. It's a good line. I think Wilco was up those Munros. Wilco D. John. And that's where we walk from. I can just spot that green tent in the shelter. That's a new 
new thing for me, that building. I've never seen that before. So that's new from the last time I was up. The lads are talking about going a slightly different way than I usually go, but the start's the same up there. So we'll see. We'll see where we end up. We're going to end up in the same place, uh, the railway station. So we break, this is a... After a hike, this is a... It's a good wee test up here. Up there, I'm sure that's where the climb ends and then we're level and then we head down towards Ben the Lap and the station. So this is the fifth time I've been up here. That's a new thing. That dam or weir, whatever it is. But that's definitely that's a new bit of works, bit of hydro works there. Right, we're on the track, heading towards the railway bridge. Usually I just head, I just keep following this path, but uh, Sinclair, there was a wee uh, map there at, the, uh, at that new, that new building, I've never seen that, it's another new thing as I already said, and it shows you a different route. That's the way I always go up there, straight up. But we're going that way. Right, I better. I've been before, so I remember where to go, so I better. I better get. catch up and. Ah, maybe they found a path. As I said to them, I did say to them it was a bit of a bog fest. But anyway, that's the way we're going. That's the sort of. Well, the pathway, but it is about maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes longer to the station. So, it's up to yourself what way you want to go. I did say it was boggy and marshy. <laughs> yeah, I remember this. There's the train track up there. So, we're just following the Following the train track through the, through in the, through in the bog. That's back in the bog. Eh? I think I might call this trip back to the bog. Oh. Ah, right in it there. Back to the bog. Over the bridge with bits missing. Just be careful with your foot. Should be seeing the station soon, I would guess. Maybe over here. But if we get round here, we are. Uh, no, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Well, this is the path. This is what uh, they call the path. That qualifies the path in Scotland. <laughs> Yeah, a nice path. There it is, folks. There's the promised land. Career train station. I'll show you a wee... I'll do a wee 360.
There's Ben in our lap. But his original idea was to go up that the first night, but we started at the other end, so I don't think we'll be don't think we'll be doing that. We're just gonna get the train. Train back to the Fort William. And then we've got to get a taxi. Then we've got to decide uh, if we're camping. I mean, I've got a feeling we're going to, to be honest, I've got a feeling we're going to be staying in the vans. Again, that's my 